ठीक है प्रेस द लॉर्ड एवरीवन नाइस टू बी हियर वंस अगेन एंड मीट यू ऑल इन दिस मीटिंग एंड वर्शिप द लॉर्ड एंड सिंग फॉर हिम एंड प्रेस हिम एंड इट्स इट्स हिज ब्लेसिंग दैट वी आर अलाइव एंड Uh, we can meet once again and we can once again glorify the lord uh, through our songs and through our, through our words and worship and sharing the word of god i hope all of you are good and you have had a nice week uh, we we had just met on uh, tuesday with the hindi message and today we will have the message in english uh, so let us pray first and then sing the song and then we will go into the word dear gracious loving heavenly father we come unto thee we praise you and thank you for your loving kindness thank you the lord that you have been with us throughout the week and you have given us your kindness and all the provisions and you have protected us dear lord from all the calamities and from all the accidents and bad things and you have also protected us from the diseases just sorry all and dear lord we praise you and thank you because in any state we can praise you and thank you even uh, uh, in the closed eyes or in the open eyes or we are we can praise the lord and we can pray to the lord because his ears are towards us always and his eyes are on his children all the time uh, so we pray to you dear father that through thy holy spirit you lead us and guide us and take us into thy word and that uh, that word may be the uh, seed strong seeds for us and uh, for it may fertile into our hearts and our lives and bring out so many good fruits the fruits of the holy spirit which others can see and others can learn from us and uh, not only learn but they can see jesus in us and the father from our characteristics they can see the characteristics of jesus and bless each one of us now during this time when we sit be- beside you with you and we know we you are with us dear father and we pray for all the sisters and brothers and children who listen to uh, this message that everyone may be blessed and dear father we pray for brother and pam and shabnam ji that they also may be blessed uh, because uh, they are the ones who have given me this opportunity to come on their page and uh, share the word of god dear father bless them abundantly along with their family for we ask all this in jesus precious name amen so now let us sing the a uh, song which i have kept today uh, for all of us uh, so that song uh, is uh, very good and i hope you can uh, sing along with me uh, it is i think you know this song and uh, this is not a very difficult song uh, most of the time we have been singing this song which talks about uh, uh, giving thanks to the lord <coughs> give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the holy one give thanks because he is given jesus christ his son give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks with the holy one give thanks because he's given jesus christ his son and now let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i am rich because of what the lord has done for us and now let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i am rich 
because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks for the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. So praise the Lord and uh, we, we are happy, we are glad because when we sing and we praise the Lord, the Lord is happy and in one spirit uh, both, both of us feel happy and all of us feel joyful. And I especially welcome uh, Vini AJ. Uh, I think uh, I have I have heard your messages. Uh, I welcome you and God bless you. And in the background, I know Shabnam Ji and Anpam uh, Bhai both are there. So I welcome them also on their own page. And I welcome all those who will be joining in between or who will listen to this message later on. Uh, so today, you know, the topic uh, is about the thanksgiving like uh, uh, you have seen in the topic what is the message the message is what we can give to the lord for the blessings like the lord blesses us so much so much every day uh, we receive his blessings and uh, in our life so many time uh, t so many times almost all the time uh, each breath is the blessing from the Lord. This life is the blessing for the from the Lord. All the uh, things which happened in our lives, uh, our parents, our brothers and sisters and our friends and um, our good neighbors and the society and the schooling and our jobs, all these things are blessings for us. Uh, good health uh, itself uh, is a big blessing from the Lord. So when the Lord has given so many blessings to us, then what can we uh, give back to God for the blessing? Do we have anything to give back to the Lord uh, for His blessings? Yes, Lord always wants us to bless Him. So first of all, uh, we must bless the Lord for all His blessings because the so one more song is there which says, Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord. And Psalmist, that means David always says, Oh my soul, bless the Lord. Uh, so one thing that we can bless the Lord by our singing and we can bless the Lord by reading his word and praying and uh, share the word of God. So all, uh, all these are the means to worship the Lord and to uh, give thanks to him. Because he doesn't want the sacrifices what we give him. Uh, he uh, he has given us all the things, all those sacrifices within the Old Testament people used to give for the forgiveness of their sins and for the welfare of their family and uh, as thanksgiving. Uh, they were giving it in the form of animals and uh, in those days, in the Old Testament days, God accepted those uh, sacrifices. Uh, but later on, uh, the sin increased so much, so much uh, that all those sacrifices were not enough for uh, for the human beings to get rid of uh, the sin and get the forgiveness from the Lord and receive the eternal life and receive the salvation. Uh, so God has given us uh, His own Son. So for His Son, we must thank Him and praise Him. And uh, first of all, we will read from the Word of God. The uh, the chapter is, you know, uh, from uh, from Psalms chapter one sixteen and verses twelve to eighteen. Psalm chapter one hundred and sixteen verses from twelve to eighteen. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, what is written in the verse twelve? What can we give back to God? for the blessings he has poured upon us. 
I will I will lift high the cup of salvation a toast to God I'll pray in the name of God I'll complete what I promised to God I will do that and I'll do it together with his people when they arrive at the gates of death God welcomes those who love him oh god here i am your servant uh, uh, here i am your servant set me free from you uh, and uh, let me serve you i am ready to offer the thanksgiving sacrifice and pray in the name of god i'll complete what i promised god i will do and i will do it in the company with the people with his people uh, so we have seen this wonderful psalm what psalmist uh, or david has written and here we see that uh, one verse has come twice that verse is you know uh, the verse number 14 and verse number 18 that is i will complete what i promised god i will do and i'll do it in the company with his people so uh, you know god wants us to you know, fulfill our promises what we have done uh, to the lord like if we have told lord that lord i will always listen to you if i tell god if we promise god god i will always obey you and i will do thy will always and i will not go astray from your uh, path and uh, i'll praise you always uh, through my life and through my words then we must follow that because that is what psalmist is saying here that we must uh, give thanks to the lord and completely do that what we have promised to the lord because god always fulfills his promises uh, he never uh, goes back you know from what he he said or uh, what he promised to us all his promises are true and we should not have an iota uh, of doubt that god can ever tell lies because god is the way of truth and life and the uh, life so that's what jesus says that i am the way uh, life and light so we have to you know, completely believe in that and we should always listen to him and we should always follow the lord and do whatever lord has said and do whatever we have promised to god uh, so that is the main thing what god wants us to do then in psalm 63 uh, verse uh, 3 to 4 psalm 63 verse 3 to 4 uh, is written uh, that because your loving kindness is better than life my lips shall praise thee so here again see what psalmist is saying that i will praise thee that means i will always praise you from my life from my words and whatever i do from my characteristics uh, so here we should follow that how uh, psalmist is again and again saying that you must you know uh, you must come to the lord and worship him and praise him because god is most satisfied with our praises towards him and with our thanksgiving for him because god doesn't lack anything god has given us everything and god has created this world god has created all the you know uh, things in this world and god has uh, above all created the human beings that means god has created us in his own image and in his own in own image that means as he is uh, so uh, god never wants us to change that image because if our parents uh, uh, when they want to see us they want to see us in their image uh, if parents are good they wants their children also to be good and if parents are educated they want their children also to be educated and they never want that ch- their children uh, should go on the wrong way they always want them uh, to progress in in life and to do uh, to do good as you remember that when the um, when that lost child he went away from his father he took away all his property and 
he said god uh, father give me my property i want to live my own life i want to go somewhere and do the business and you know i don't want to live here and uh, you know father with a heavy heart gave him everything uh, what what was belonging to that son to younger son and his son went away son went away and uh, he you know used all his money uh, in the wrong things with his friends and in the in the wine in the women and uh, in uh, going here and there and he became poor because when he became poor all his friends left him and when they left him then he was not having any job he didn't have food to eat then he uh, he went uh, uh, from door to door company to company uh, to beg for a job and when he got the job mm, that job was so menial that he had to look after the pigs and he had to eat what pigs were eating Uh, so one day when he got fed up of that life then he thought that uh, my father has so many servants and they are living much better life than me then why why don't i go to my father and ask for his forgiveness and live that life uh, uh, as his servant because that is much much better than this life so god is so good uh, he he forgave us also just like that father who forgave his son and this son says uh, i have i have sinned against you my father and i have also sinned against the uh, against the father god so we can imagine how uh, this uh, this person this boy was so uh, so much sad and uh, he uh, he was asking for the forgiveness and he got forgiveness from the lord so sim- similar way god also when when we come back to him uh, from our old ways from our bad ways and from our sinful life then god always uh, has his open arms to take us and forgive us and to uh, keep us in his kingdom and it is also written uh, that i should keep all my promises to god so when we keep all our promises to god he blesses us and the uh, uh, next point is that we can honor the lord by bringing our offerings to god that uh, whatever we have we must uh, share it with the lord like whatever god has uh, uh, god has commanded like uh, in uh, in the bible it says that you give tenth part of your earnings for the lord's work lord does not need the money because he he has given us all the blessings uh, we have everything from him uh, but th- this commandment is giving uh, given to us so we can help the churches to grow and we can help god's people and we can pay, pay to the pastors and uh, maintain the building also and this is the reason and along with the tight like tenth part of our earning we have to give our offerings also so we will uh, talk about that little later but now in the introduction and just uh, let us see what are the most important things and uh, uh, this is not an, just the money just our tight or just our offerings what god requires god requires our full life he doesn't want just our heart just our money just our time or uh, just anything uh, what he wants of this world but he wants whole of ourselves he wants our life that completely we belong to him and completely we will do what the lord has said uh, because when we give our half a life uh, to him then god also will bless us half only when we uh, uh, when we serve him in half way or partial way then god also will bless us in the uh, partial way in the in the parts uh, so if we want god's blessings uh, in the full then we have to serve him fully and we have to surrender our life completely to the lord because uh, that song you must be remembering i surrender all Uh, all to jesus i surrender i surrender all all to jesus i surrender all to him i freely give i surrender 
surrender all. I surrender all, all to Jesus, to Savior. I surrender all. So God wants us completely that uh, we must surrender to Him uh, the whole life. And whatever the Lord says, we do that. Because uh, the half surrender uh, does not please Him. He, he wants us to surrender completely. And we should not give uh, reluctantly. Like some people give uh, to the Lord, Oh, I have to do it, so I am doing it. Some people say, Oh, out of my salary, I have to give tenth uh, part uh, to do for the Lord's work. Even though I have got so many expenditures at home, I have to give, you know, uh, for the maintenance of the house, I have to give for my children's education. I have uh, less money, so I have to give tight. But remember, my dear, that we have to uh, depend on the Lord completely. When we listen to Him, when we obey Him, then God blesses us much, much, much more than what we give to Him. And He loves the cheerful giver. So we have to give Him cheerfully whatever we offer to Him. We have to offer Him cheerfully, happily, and not with the remorse or sad heart, but happily we have to give to the Lord and we see in our life when we obey the Lord and when we give for the Lord you know cheerfully openly then Lord blesses us much much more than that what we have never imagined or thought in our minds uh, more, much more than that God blesses us and uh, you have listened to my testimony and you each one of you must be having the testimony that how God has blessed us each time uh, even though we went through the um, valley or we went through the uh, problems in life we went to the near death diseases but god has protected us and he has blessed us because he loves us why he loves us because he has made us into his own image he did not love this much the angels uh, who were made before us and he did not love uh, even those uh, beautiful angels uh, that much like uh, Lucifer and Michael etc uh, as much as he loves us because uh, we uh, we are considered his children who he, uh, he has made into his own image uh, so my friends we must remember that and uh, how much we can give uh, back to the Lord just now we have seen that 10% of our salary we must uh, uh, give to the Lord and other than that whatever offerings we have we have to give the Lord because it's not just the tithe but God expects our offerings also and what is offering offering is uh, what what is other than tithe means 10% uh, of our salary is one thing but besides that what we give for the Lord, like uh, we give for the maintenance of the building of church or we help somebody in the church or we help a pastor or we help a poor child who doesn't have the fees and he belongs to our community, he belongs, he or she belongs to a church, we, uh, we help that person or uh, we give the money for the poor people uh, whom our church is serving. Uh, going to the community and serving them so those are the offerings what what is other than the tithe and uh, uh, when we have made our budget like what are the various expenditures in our house and the various things uh, are covered then whatever money is left uh, with that we must give the offerings we must serve the Lord even with that money uh, so and this is what we can see in so many people that uh, the children of God that they have uh, given everything to the Lord it is not just their money but uh, they have given their life they have given uh, their house uh, to be uh, as a church and they have kept God's people in their house and all the time they are happy and praising the Lord uh, so that is what is called worshipping uh, the real worship to the Lord and uh, you have seen that in the uh, Matthew chapter 30, 
God, uh, Jesus says uh, that whatever you have done to one of these least, least brethren, that you have done unto me. That means uh, uh, if we have given food to a poor person, if we have given one uh, glass of water to a poor person, if we have gone and visited a, p a prisoner who is in the prison, or if we have uh, gone and uh, served a, a sick person, or whatever in the name of the Lord we have done, uh, that Jesus says that we have done it unto the Lord. So even that is an offering. So it is not just the money what we give to the Lord, but it is, you know, uh, anything in our life what we can give to the Lord. And uh, our time what we spend with the Lord, our time when we go in the name of Jesus and we counsel somebody, we go to a sick person and sit beside that person because time is the costliest thing in the world today. Nobody has the time because everybody is so busy in life, everybody is busy earning the money or uh, everyone is busy in uh, making their house or maintaining their house or going uh, further and further in everything. But nobody is bothered about their spiritual life. All are bothered about the uh, worldly life, the, the life which is just the temporary life. Uh, which which is just for 70 to 80 years or 90 or little above 90 years but uh, they do not think about the eternity that in eternity we are going to live with the lord in heaven i uh, and uh, for this eternal life we have to care for our spirit we have to uh, improve our spiritual life and we have to be one with the lord jesus with God our Father and with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will guide us how to go forward you know that uh, Jesus came into this world why he came into this world for for the forgiveness of our sins because without the shedding of blood uh, the forgiveness cannot be given when in the olden time uh, people sinned then what they did they gave the sacrifices for, of animals for the forgiveness of sin and for the different kind of sins they have given the different kind of animals for example the, the bulls or uh, these uh, cows or they have given the pigeons for as sacrifice and uh, uh, these various animals they have offered to the lord and at that time uh, god forgave them their sins with those animals blood uh, but it was just for one year because every year they had to give the sacrifices but once in all when god saw that the my people are uh, my people are deep into the sin and they are not improving they are not leaving their sins behind then uh, he he felt very sad and once he uh, he felt so bad and so hurt that he said that why did i make these people and he repented uh, for making the world and uh, the, you know that in Noah's time, he, is, uh, he destroyed the whole world with the help of the rain. And the rain poured from heaven and uh, uh, there was so much flood, so much flood that all each animal, each, uh, each bird and each human being including the children, they all died and nobody uh, was uh, escaped from that except Noah and his family because Noah was a righteous person and Noah uh, and his family uh, were saved and God uh, told him go and make an ark, ark uh, the ship in which you, you and your family can enter and live and uh, take uh, one pair of each kind of animal into that into that ship and keep them you know, keep the food also for them he even told them the time period for how long you have to keep the food inside the ship and uh, this Noah he was such a righteous man and obedient man that he followed each and everything what the Lord had told him and uh, people laughed at him people said that what is he doing and why is he making such a big arc you know uh, what is the purpose and uh, they were laughing at him but remember when the flood came then how everyone died including the 
uh, including the other creatures. So we should never make fun of the Lord's people and we should never make fun of the you know uh, Lord's commandments like today the today's generation says that whatever is written in the Bible in the Old Testament that is written for the for those people who were living in those days it is not applicable today that's what they say but Jesus is the same is written in uh, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 that uh, Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever so if Jesus is same always then how can his word be different how can the words meaning change because those same words apply to us and we have to follow those words even today so my dear friends we, uh, we, we should not listen to the lies of Satan that you are living in the different generation and you are not to follow those laws, what was written in the olden uh, Bible because that was for those people. And remember, Satan is the father of lies and he always tells us the lies so we must, uh, you know, go away from the Lord and we should not worship the Lord. This is what he wants. And uh, another thing, because there are so many things to uh, to be shared, and uh, <coughs> uh, it's just a question: How do we pray to claim for His blessings? How do we pray to claim His blessings? Because so many blessings are given, so many promises are given in the Bible, and uh, now how to pray for uh, the blessings, whatever is promised by the Lord? We have to pray like this. The sample of prayer is given uh, in uh, one of the books uh, that is Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessings upon us. We thank you that we have great power. This wonderful wisdom and deep insight, this flow of abundance surging through our lives help us to serve others and be a blessing for mankind in jesus name amen so this is how we have to pray and at the same time what i have learned that claim those blessings like uh, jesus said how many times at uh, 360 times in the bible uh, that i am with you fear not I am with you. Uh, throughout the Bible, if you read, uh, it is mentioned 360 times uh, that fear not, I am with you. Uh, so whenever we feel lonely, whenever we feel God is not with us, God is not helping us, or uh, we are just drowning, then we must remember this promise. And we should uh, say in the prayer, God, you have told me that you will be with me. So I know you are with me, even when we, uh, when I am going through this water, even though, uh, even when I going through the fire, uh, through the famine, through the difficulties, through the diseases, I know, Lord, that you are with me, and you have said to me that you will never leave and uh, nor forsake me. So uh, this is how we have to claim the promises of God, and God is listening to our prayers and according to his promises uh, he will fulfill those in our lives so my dear friends you must have noticed in your own lives also that whenever you have prayed and whenever you have called uh, to the lord and uh, uh, god has listened and god has given that thing to us and uh, sometimes it may take time to get to receive that gift what we want from the lord there also is a purpose because in waiting god wants to teach us some lesson the lesson of patience the lesson of faith the lesson of dependence on the lord because so many times we depend on ourselves and we think that uh, we can do what we want we can do on our own everything in this world because uh, so many people you know they don't believe in god and uh, so many people are giving up the lord and uh, they are living their own lives and they have become uh, you know just uh, like uh, uh, just like animals that they don't have any feeling any worship any honor for the lord so th this is how you know people are neglecting god and they are, they are going into the uh, satan's kingdom 
and that is what the evil one wants from uh, all the people that they should leave god and they should join him and uh, all of them should go uh, to his kingdom and that kingdom you know what is that where there is a uh, burning forever and where there is fire forever and uh, where there is no forgiveness uh, for the people uh, so this is what the devil wants from us but we are fooled by his lies because he says no no now you are in the world you enjoy this thing you enjoy that thing whatever you like you do that you go for the dance party you go for uh, spoiling your life you go you tell lies for your own good nothing will happen uh, because he comes and says these things into our ears he whispers into our ears do this nothing will happen uh, but remember that these are the lies of satan because he wants to draw us uh, away from the lord so we must always listen to the lord's voice and remember that, that the uh, the holy spirit is within us and uh, in first uh, corinthian chapter 316 it is written uh, that don't you know that your body is the temple of the living god your body is the temple of the uh, holy spirit when the when the lord is in us when the holy spirit is in us then can anybody fool us but we have to have faith we have to uh, we have to focus on the lord and uh, whenever we are going to slip then we have to ask the lord lord save me what what should i do now lord please save me so we know the holy spirit tells us uh, that you are going away from the lord this is wrong this is right go on the right path don't go to the left go to the right uh, the holy spirit keeps telling us all these things but many times we just ignore that because um, our fleshly desires are uh, so strong our worldly desires are so strong that we neglect the go- voice of the lord we neglect the voice of the holy spirit and we do that whatever we want for the pleasure of our body for the pleasure of our life for the pleasure uh, for how many days we live into this world because uh, the, when i talk to various people and uh, i say you see how much uh, uh, people are going in towards the sin and uh, they are not bothered what they are doing they are telling lies they are uh, doing the homosexuality they are uh, ha- rapes number is increasing they have no respect for their parents and uh, which is the commandment of the lord they have no respect for god and they are even you know uh, abusing the lord nowadays you know what is happening in the world that uh, people are going against the christianity and it is not just the christianity they abuse the lord jesus and they call him uh, with different different names you know and on christians there is so much persecution uh, why they have christians done anything wrong towards anybody no but because they love the lord because the lord loves them and uh, that's why uh, they do not like it because they are under the influence of the satan and they want to destroy the lord's people like uh, we we have heard such a sad news that in, in uh, Uh, in that uh, city in that state manipur how many people died six people died because of the violence which came from the uh, people of manipur and uh, 25 churches are burnt you know uh, in in that place so uh, how much pain and suffering uh, people are going through those who are christians and uh, uh, how they must be you know tolerating these things bearing these things so we have to pray for them we have to pray for them day and night that lord be merciful to them and teach the lesson to those people that they may not persecute uh, those uh, uh, christians over there any more their father have uh, have mercy on them and uh, uh, save them dear father uh, and so many things are happening into this world uh, that we we just uh, cannot bear but uh, we when we hear we cry that lord why is this happening but you know the in the bible it is written that uh, what jesus said jesus said that uh, this world has hated me so they will hate you also this world has crucified me this world has given me so, so much suffering so they will give the same suffering to you also uh, it may not they even though they have crucified uh, the 
disciples of Jesus, the apostles of Jesus, and they have crucified the Lord's people, they have burnt the people who followed Jesus Christ. And uh, uh, why? Because uh, those people belong to the kingdom of God and these people belong to the kingdom of Satan. And both are enemies, uh, means uh, kingdom of Satan is enemy to the people of God. So these things are happening because uh, uh, Satan takes uh, power on, on those things. But Bible says, do not worry, do not be afraid because this little pain what you are having into this world will give you much much more glory you know when you go to heaven you will this you will sit beside the lord you will see god and you will sing the praises with the angels and you will live the eternal life and the crown is waiting for you the crown of life is waiting for you in heaven so uh, what is this suffering this suffering is just for the time being when uh, till the time we are alive but uh, after death what will happen we are going to enter into the eternal life if we believe in jesus christ and we believe and we ask for the forgiveness of the lord and we become his children and god gives us the promise of eternal life at that a very moment you know so uh, by reading the bible by reading these words uh, we get lot of strength that we should not be afraid of anything and uh, how many people how that doctor and his two uh, kids were burnt alive inside the uh, medical van when they were sleeping in the night why because they were serving the lepers because they were serving the people who were sick in that village in india they had come all the way from foreign country and they were serving our indians but still our own indians they treated him so badly and they burnt him alive and uh, his two children also and still his wife uh, comes and says in the church that i forgive those people who have uh, killed my husband and my children so have you seen such example uh, such live example in your life i have seen that uh, so whatever god teaches us we have to follow that we don't have to be bothered about the uh, you know pain and suffering what this world will give because you know uh, where the world will go where the world is going you know that and th these uh, you know about these sacrifices when we are talking about uh, we know that every religion believes in the sacrifices uh, so many people like uh, they uh, they give the sacrifice uh, of the animals uh, even today and uh, every year they they bring the animal and give the sacrifice and uh, even uh, some people who worship the idols they also give the sacrifices to their gods you know and uh, in the olden time israelites were uh, sacrificing to the um, to the mortal images and to the idols and god became very angry with that and uh, what to talk about animals some people you know they sacrifice their own children because uh, their uh, guru or uh, their you know whoever is the leader uh, that leader says that if you sacrifice your child then you will prosper then uh, this curse will go away from you then this problem will go away from you and god has hated that thing in the bible and he has said to the, the uh, kings and the people that uh, uh, do not become like them who sacrifice their children and who sacrifice their children uh, they will not be forgiven they will not enter the kingdom of god uh, so how cruel the world can be but our lord our god is so merciful but that he wants to save each one of us uh, he sent jesus christ not only for uh, for his people but he sent jesus christ for the whole world because the bible says the uh, means the lord god loved the world so much that he gave his only son to die for us so whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life uh, so he came he gave his son for the whole world but the whole world do they do they uh, believe in that uh, do they have any gratefulness for that no because they want to go 
to in the satan's way because that way is the broader that way is very easy that way is full of pleasure so people want to go in that broad way and nobody wants to follow the narrow way which takes them which leads them to heaven so my dear my friends we must remember that uh, where to go and uh, how to follow jesus christ how to follow god and listen to him and like stephen we should not be bothered about uh, the uh, suffering and persecution like uh, so many people uh, killed stephen by uh, by throwing the stones on him because he loved god and uh, they asked him to uh, change his view but stephen did not change his view and uh, uh, when uh, uh, people were throwing the stones on stephen then uh, stephen he looked upward he looked towards heaven and he said that i can see god and i can see jesus sitting on his right hand because he was the child of god and uh, we are sure that he has gone to uh, the lord directly after that persecution so nobody should be afraid of this persecution what is going on but we must pray that uh, uh, you know god will control all these things into his own hands and uh, uh, satan will have the defeat he is already defeated but he is trying and trying whatever he can uh, till the end because one day god is going to imprison him god is going to uh, throw him and uh, uh, he will never come back to the people you know the new world will be made by uh, by our lord god the new heaven the new earth will c- come and uh, we uh, we are already the new creation because we have taken jesus christ as our lord and savior we are new creation so we must thank god for that what else we can give to our god for his blessing so i will go quickly now because time is going to be over uh, we can give the lord uh, for his blessings our time our time is the time in prayer the time is in bible reading the time in sharing the word of god and the uh, uh, time in praying for others that itself is a sacrifice to the lord then serving the poor and sick uh, you know whatever we have uh, we can share it with the poor people we may have 10 clothes you know uh, and if uh, someone poor does not have a single proper uh, clothes uh, then we must uh, uh, give our clothes to that person we must share our clothes with that person and when we have uh, plenty of food we must share it with the poor people and uh, and sometimes what we should do uh, we we, should, we must keep fast and uh, sorry whatever food is you know uh, we are not eating like in on fasting day we don't have the food uh, either we drink water or uh, we do not uh, eat uh, drink even water so that food we must go and give to a poor person uh, who is hungry uh, many people are sitting on the road they have nobody to feed them they they never have the proper food of home so we must cook a nice food for them and take it into uh, the, the box and give it to them and how many blessings they will give us because we we are giving them uh, good food uh, and this itself is a sacrifice and lord will bless that sacrifice the, he will give us in abundance everything because we have thought of that poor person because god says that if you have done anything for least of these brothers you have done it unto me so we must always think for those poor when we go to the market we see the poor children uh, they are having no proper clothes they probably they have not eaten food then uh, buy the biscuits or buy the samosas which are not very costly and you can distribute it to them uh, some of the people say oh don't do that because if you do it for one child many children will come doesn't matter you can uh, save your money and you can uh, uh, not buy some of the things which you like and use the same money for helping the poor person and see how much peace how much joy 
uh, will fill your heart and uh, that i have experienced and you also must have experienced uh, that uh, the joy fills our heart the peace fills our heart by giving to others and when god uh, sees that that god uh, blesses us abundantly and many times we can give sacrifice in the form of giving up our favorite game uh, like uh, the game on the computer the game on the mobile we spend hours and hours and hours for playing that game and we do not do what we are supposed to do and uh, this is uh, my problem also when i start playing the game on mobile i go on and on and on and i give hours and hours to that game uh, but i prayed to the lord lord please uh, help me to give up this bad habit uh, and give up this uh, silly game and spend my time in the worthwhile things and god has really helped me and now i do not play that game only sometimes when i want to change my mood or when i am fed up with something then i may play once or twice but i don't go for hours and hours and that same time we can go and sit with a lonely person and talk to them and you know the old people go to the old age home and just talk to those old people because they are you know uh, they are devoid of company they are devoid of friends nobody comes and uh, hugs them nobody comes and you know touches them and nobody comes and loves them so if we spend that same time with those old people how nice they will feel how nice our god will feel you know once i went to one of the you know baby fold and there were so many uh, babies over there and uh, the parents had left them at the gate of that baby fold and uh, these uh, children were looked after by the people who uh, who were the staff of uh, uh, that anath ashram and uh, these babies were you know lying quietly in their cots uh, in their beds and we had gone to visit that place and i was the teacher that time and i took all my students uh, of one class to show them and to visit that place and uh, when i went to a baby and that baby held my sari you know and uh, i was going forward to see the other children and to be with my students but this child was not leaving my sari you know and not leaving my that pallu we used to wear white sari that time with white coat so i felt so bad for that child that even though this child is so small but he knows what is love and this child is longing for the love this child is longing for the loving touch of a mother and uh, uh, um, the tears filled my eyes and i did not want to leave the child but it was there that i had to leave because i had to go back to the uh, college with my students uh, so my dear we can spend our time with such people with such lonely people with uh, with poor people with the with the children who have no parents with the old people who whose uh, uh, you know children have abandoned them and left them in the old age home uh, so that is that itself is a, a great sacrifice for our lord lord doesn't want anything for himself but lord wants us to serve him in the form of serving his people and uh, next thing is that uh, help others to win them uh, to win then winning yourself because uh, always what we want we want to win uh, e- even we uh, we have the argument with someone or we have uh, uh, been playing a game with someone or we are having competition with someone you know we want to be first that is true everyone wants to be first and uh, they do not want others to win but sometimes for the happiness of others Uh, we can you know pretend to uh, get defeated to make them happy if we are running a race and uh, if some other child you know win, uh, wins the race uh, then it does not affect us much but the child will feel so happy so we must you know uh, we must lose sometimes to let others gain and that will give us lot of satisfaction and uh, i can tell you many stories but there is no time now uh, to discuss about all that and uh, only one story i can remember of a boy that that a boy uh, he used to go to school every day and on the way uh, he saw a man uh, probably he was a beggar you know and this beggar you know he did not have shoes or chappals 
so always this beggar uh, had uh, bandages you know bandages jisse patti karte na to those bandages he had on his feet and he had a piece of rubber so he kept rubber um, below his uh, uh, you know sole of the uh, feet and then he put the bandages on them so this poor boy uh, when he used to see him every day he he felt very bad mm, so what he did he asked his father one day uh, that uh, daddy please give me some money uh, i need something then his daddy said what do you need my child tell me uh, then he said uh, i can't tell you uh, please forgive me but just give me this much money uh, so uh, father gave the money to him and this child goes and buys a nice uh, shoes uh, nice pair of shoes for this man and uh, he uh, he goes very happily and give those shoes to the poor man and uh, the poor man you know he felt so happy the light came into his eyes and he wore those shoes and he got up he stood up and he felt so happy so happy the joy came on his face and uh, this uh, uh, this old miss this beggar he just hugged the child so lovingly and you know the, behind what was happening the father of the child was coming slowly slowly to watch what his child is going to do uh, with that money so he saw him buying the shoes then he saw him going towards that beggar and giving him those shoes and uh, uh, you know he felt happy that his child had Uh, so so much love and so much uh, feeling of sacrifice for the poor people he felt happy so when the child came back the father loved him so much and he said that i am proud of you today because you have done something good for a poor person so continue to do this so th- this is a very touching story uh, which has uh, you know touched my heart when i uh, saw it on a video so there is uh, god has sacrificed so many things for us his own son and uh, uh, his own beloved son and all his blessings he has given us and we have discussed uh, uh, one by one that what all things we can give to him even though we are not worthy to give him anything because nothing belongs to us in this world but we can give our life to him we can uh, give our promises to him we can accept jesus christ in our life and we can follow uh, his commandments we can obey him we can love him and we can do what the lord has said to do for the other people and as jesus came to uh, serve others not to be served so we also should serve others and we should not expect anything back uh from them we should not expect uh, even a service from them uh, without any selfishness we must help the people and i hope god will bless you and this message has blessed my soul also because i knew all these things but sometimes i fail to practice these things but today i am again convicted that i must carry on these things i must pray more for the others i may i should help others you know i, I should uh, uh, not fulfill all my desires but with the same thing which i should help others and fulfill their desires so my dear friends uh, god bless you and, and god will bless me also through this lesson and i am so uh, joyful that i could share with you and i pray that god uh, bless each one of you and your family and you will keep coming on this page uh, on every tuesday at 9 pm and on every um, saturday at 9 pm and either something uh, happens you know and uh, tell me whether you like my messages uh, more in hindi or english or you like both please uh, send me your feedback or you send the feedback to uh, brother anpam and uh, shabnam ji uh, that Uh, which messages you like more either in english or hindi or in both so i'll be very grateful to you and uh, i love you and i miss you and uh, i want to see you each time and when i see that so many so many of you uh, hear my uh, you know messages later on then you know uh, i i thank god that so many people have uh, you know listened to the word of god and it will be helpful to many of you so thank god let us pray 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the guidance of your Holy Spirit and we thank you Lord for your presence among us. Thank you Lord for blessing each one of us and Lord we thank you and we give you the sacrifice of thanks because we are not able to give you anything else but we can give you thanks all the time whether we are uh, uh, whether we are you know uh, working or we are uh, doing something else or we are cooking or we are on the way or traveling we can always give you thanks dear father well, uh, you know by while sitting instead of doing something rubbish or something useless we can give you thanks dear father uh, keep all the people and all the loved ones uh, who are here uh, safe and sound and healthy and dear father we pray for anpanji and shabnamji and their family too and keep their children well and give them good jobs as they are looking for a good job dear father and i know that you will surely uh, fulfill their needs and desires and bless them abundantly for i ask all these things in your precious name and uh, thank you once again amen